Okay, there are no pictures to the video um, because this is an audio for the blind and visually impaired, so it's an audio recipe. And this one is called Easy Christmas Crack Candy. And I prepared ahead of time everything as we do when we're blind, so everything is laid out and everything is where we need it. So I have the oven preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I have two sticks of butter and a saucepan on the stove on medium heat that it will be melted. And then I will add to the melted butter one cup of brown sugar. I will bring that to a boil. And then once that has boiled rapidly for three minutes straight, I will then move it over to where I have a Pampered Chef stoneware baking sheet with sides that it's like it's a bar pan. It's the it's their bar pan. In that I have uh, put parchment paper and then sprayed the parchment paper and then added five, I think it's five rows right there. One, two, three, four, five rows of seven crackers in it, not overlapping each other. Very important. Uh, then that's where the brown sugar and butter caramelized will be poured over top of these crackers. They will go in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for five minutes, pull them out, and then pour two cups of chocolate chips over top of spread them all over top of the entire cookie sheet, entire pan, and then let that cool. And you can put that in the fridge, the freezer if you want, but you want to let that cool completely after spreading the melted chocolate chips across the entire top. Then you take your parchment paper and you can fold it in all four sides and then start cracking up the ingredients inside and that is done candy. Easy, easy, easy. If you do want to temp your caramelized brown sugar and butter, I have heard that that is uh, temped at 289 degrees Fahrenheit for that caramelized candy. Hope you enjoyed this recipe and it was helpful as to aligning and uh, setting out everything. I pre-measured a cup of brown sugar out put the two sticks of butter in the pan. I do cut the butter into slices only because of the fact that I have found that if I missed paper on it, I can find it usually when I slice it up and I found two pieces. So that way it didn't go into the melted butter and into the meal that I'm making or the baking goods that I'm making. So hope all those tips and tricks helped. Have a great day.